Okay, hey guys, this is a video to show you how the new auto movement in X-Wing Tabletop Simulator works. So first, let's start off by loading a list. I come here to my chest, to my saved objects. I am going to look, go down to my squad folder. And down here, I am going to load a dash corn build. Now, I'm going to need the new auto dials. And as you can see here, I have X-Wing Auto Dials. That's another folder I have. You can download this folder from the Google Drive link that I will put up in the tutorial. So I'm going to look for an E-Wing here. So E-Wing Dial. And then I'm also going to look for the YT-2400. And then we're done with the chest, so we'll clear out of that. And let's move these dials into the zone right here. Now this zone is a hidden zone. I'm player white, so this is a white zone, and only I can see inside this zone, so my opponent won't know what move I'm selecting. Next, let's move these guys into position off the map. I'm going to place the ships over the dial. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the dial's location, and this is done by right-clicking on the ship. And underneath the ship's name is a command prompt. In there, I can type in store dial and click off of the menu. And that will bring up a little guide. And you can see here, it says 17 dials saved for Cornhorn. And that lets you know that the location of these dials have been saved for him. And then there's a little button here that says remove. Remove that. And so he's ready to go. I'm going to place him out in the play area. Next, we're going to do this for dash. But for dash, I will do the shortcut. And the shortcut is SD, and you can see 17 dials have been saved for Dash Rendar. And let's put him out in the play area. Now we're ready to go, and we're going to select some moves. So I will select a 3 forward for that for Corrin. So I'm going to flip that over with the F key, pick it up, and drop it next to him. And for Dash, I will also pick a 3 forward, pick it up, and place it next to him. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, there's two buttons that pop up on the dial itself. Uh, delete. If you delete the dial, it will go back to its location, and then you can choose a different move. So I'm going to go two straight this time instead and put that next to him. Okay, now it's Dash's turn. I will hit the flip button, which will flip over the maneuver dial. I will hit the move button, which will have him perform the move. And then I will hit the delete button on the bottom, and it will place it back in the hidden zone. And same thing with for Corin. I will flip it, move him, and then delete it, and it'll go back. And then let's say uh, after I move uh, Corin, I'm going to barrel roll with him. I can then right click on him, and in the command prompt, I can put in the commands as usual. All the automated commands still function, so I can do such as a barrel roll, which is XE to barrel roll left, and XR to barrel roll right. So let's go XR and then click off of that menu and you can see Cornhorn barrel rolled right. All right, there you go, guys. That's how automobile works in X-Wing Tabletop Simulator.